Mr. David in the house is going to come and bless the mic. Everybody give him a hand. What's the church say, amen? amen? Say amen like you mean it. Amen. Say amen like you love the Lord. Amen. Man, I saw this girl walking down the street looking like she had charcoal on the bottom of her feet. Way too thin, like she could really use a bite to eat. Clothes all dirty and dusty, like she's gone days without sleep. Think she's outsmarting the cops because she's standing on a bus stop. But it's four o'clock in the morning, it's been five hours since that bus was running. Still she shakes her behind and she waves at every car she sees. Trying to make her some money desperately, cause won't nobody give her no dope for free. When she was young, she never dreamed or believed that she would grow up to be a fiend. One willing to do the extreme. Sell her most precious possession for 20, sometimes 15. Doing dirty, filthy, disgusting things. Sometimes to get by, sometimes just to get high. Every night it's the same old thing, in and out of different men's cars. And if you watch, you see she never really gets too far. A five block radius is the extent of where she roams. A glass pipe, two lighters, and a pizza brillo is about all she owns. And every day the same thing goes on. Indecent indiscretions, in dimly lit parks. Sex behind abandoned buildings and in alleys that are dark. Front or back seat, don't matter as long as you're not the police. And if you don't see, give it time, you'll find her. Sometimes the lit cigarette is what she uses as a timer. Cause when that cigarette burns, you gotta get up at somebody else's turn. And just like that, she's back on the block. And her first stop is to find a little buddy who's got the rocks. Cause when her mind is high and her body is numb, it's easy to forget some of the things that she's done. So she hurries up and she smokes a whole tin. And it's back on the stroll so she can be somebody else's girlfriend. She tries to be a little bit selective about the men. She knows she picked the wrong one to never be seen again. Danger, that's just part of the game. Just like fake names and not having any change. No fear, no shame. And you better watch it. Cause when your pants at your ankles, she might be fumbling through your pockets. Commonly known as a trick roll. And if this trick knows that he's being jacked, She's probably gonna get smacked. Maybe get that eye blacked. Almost all of these chicks have been attacked. Almost all have been raped. Many have police records. Some have upcoming court dates. Many come from broken homes. And so many have lost families of their own because prostitution and drug possession is something that child protection does not condone. And they will take the children out of the home, which makes her feel even more incomplete. And so the dope helps her to cope with her emotional deficiencies. And I'm ashamed because I have not given her a name or a proper identity. And I do apologize because normally I'm not so mean. And so for the rest of this piece, we'll just call this chick Miss Magdalene. Miss Magdalene. She suffers from low or no self-esteem. Doing her best to be behind the scenes and remain unseen because she has done some things. You may call her Miss Nastiness, you may call her Miss Unclean, but I call her Miss Magdalene. Oh, I wish there was a group of people or a ministry team that could help her with this plight. But sometimes, when you live the righteous life, you don't like being out late at night. Because the streets are scary. But I think this mission is necessary. Oh, I wish there was a holy place where Miss Magdalene could find sanctuary. A safe place, open 24 hours a day where people on the street can find refuge and escape. I wish there were people who were properly trained and could minister to Miss Magdalene's pain. I wish there was a way that I could properly explain that if you lived her life, you might have ended up the same. Is God or free will to blame? I don't know, I just explain it this way. It's Miss Magdalene. She has demons inside that control her. And in this world, there's very few people out here trying to console her. So maybe she feels comfort as these strange men hold her. I bet you'd be surprised what you find out if you got to know her. Realize she is a person. She indeed has a soul. And her desire is to be made whole. But the drugs have a stronghold. And so now her heart has grown cold. And every night, there she goes. Like a lamb to the slaughter. No longer seen as someone's niece, someone's sister, or someone's daughter. Poor Miss Magdalene. Her dream is to be clean. Can you imagine her ministry if she got saved 
if she was to be redeemed with all the things that she's done and seen with her intimate understanding of what goes down on the streets, if someone was to reach and meet her spiritual needs and just tell her the truth, how heaven is overflowing with repentant sinners and repentant prostitutes. He has a lot more of them than those who wear expensive collars and robes. So much more of them than us who claim that we can see. Jesus said, what you do unto the least shows how you feel about me. Listen, Miss Magdalene, while you out here running wild, man may call you a harlot. God calls you his child. We honor God with our lips. He says we worship in vain when we see somebody going through so much pain who desperately, definitely wants to change. And we don't take the time to pull over and pray or even try to explain how healing comes by faith and belief in Jesus' name. How he came to heal the sick, the disease, the leper, and the lame. How he came for those who are in the most need. I mean, folks like me, folks like some of you used to be. I'm talking about folk like Miss Magdalene. Oh, if she only knew that salvation is true, I bet she'd say hallelujah too. I remember a story. Two men who owed money. One owed 50, the other owed about 500. Neither one had enough money to cover it. And as the story goes, it turns out that both were forgiven that which they were owed. And so Jesus wanted to know, which one of those you think loved to forgive a man the most? They said, obviously, the one who had the biggest debt excused. I wish somebody would tell Miss Magdalene this good news. <laughs> tell her Jesus paid it all and all her debts have been removed. Tell Miss Magdalene that no matter what kind of thing you're going through, it is not exclusive unto you. There's always somebody who's been through the same thing too. So rejoice because you are not alone. And as long as God is on the throne, he'll give you the strength to keep on keeping on. And as long as Jesus is alive, he'll help you carry that load. And the Holy Spirit will give you comfort as you walk your rocky road. Oh, Miss Magdalene, do you even know what your name means? When Jesus rose from the grave, you were the first one he wanted to see. You are a queen. You indeed have a ministry. Because there's people that I myself will never be able to reach. But God has allowed you to live and survive on these mean streets. To prepare you for a time when you need to speak. Because you understand how the pain can run so deep. You've watched your friends get beat and lose a front row of teeth over a $15 piece. You know the reason that you smoke is because you seek some relief or some kind of release. And what you really need is peace. And God knows that your spirit is willing. It's just your flesh is so weak. Lovely Miss Magdalene, please put your mind at ease. We serve a God with all power. He'll never forsake and never leave. With all your years of being in captivity, you can finally be free. The Lord is good. All you have to do is taste and see. Those who lower their head in grief lift their eyes in victory. Beautiful Miss Magdalene. Don't worry about the things that you've done. Because when you find the sun, when you find the divine one, you will rise like the sun. And you also shine like one. And then you'll get the increase. So if a blessing's what you see, all you have to do is speak and believe that he is worthy indeed. And there's nobody that's beyond his reach. His love and his blood is what makes us clean. And there's no one that can't be saved. Not even Miss Magdalene.